one more thing. Love you. Nails. This review is on the 2020 movie, The Legion. I'm the anger god. I'm going to tell you like it is. I thought I'd just seen Bruce Willis. Since he headlines movies and only appears in the film for about 10 minutes. No, it wasn't Bruce. It was Mickey Rourke. Mr. Rourke was the feature actor on all the different posters for the film, The Legion, or whatever the fuck it was called, man. Mickey Rourke appeared in the film, The Legion, for a total of 15 minutes and 22 seconds out of a 96-minute film. I started to tape Mickey when he sounded as if he was in a regular room and sounded like I do right now. A little echo she. And my suspicion was right about the film when I saw the second scene. It was beautiful, but it was fake as hell, man. They should have left the snowflakes out. Third scene was not much better. They changed out the background and used the same echo room as the first scene. The director was right when he said he tried to create an epic historic adventure, when, which was... A very difficult genre to start. Well, no shit, buddy. Because especially because the film will always be compared to the great movie, The Gladiator. Now back to the film, The Legion. At the third scene in the movie, they were in a tent with many quilted layers. And we should have been able to feel the softness of the room in their voices. Let's talk about the posters again. You see the name, Byling? She played Rourke's prostitute that tried to persuade M Mickey into doing a political move and she was on the screen for a total of seven minutes and 12 seconds. I saw in the film the bigger guys were running around, especially on the mountainsides in all their gear. They speeded up the film just a little. I noticed also while the characters climbing around the mountains, they used the same location for different scenes. They just added a few more broken tree branches on the left side. <sighs> No man can do a continuous run with the amount of clothes Lee Partridge was wearing. I think I seen him eat twice, but Saul, Bosco Hogan, fed him, got him healthy, and gave him a bag of food. Let's talk about the campfire. It looked like it was set up in someone's backyard, and the lawn was freshly cut. Did you notice the wood was cut evenly at the ends? Lee Partridge only carried a long, straight-bladed knife. It had no serrated edge on one side. I didn't see any smoke coming out of the fire, but the next scene, it showed smoke coming out of the middle of the stone house, which was the fire was supposed to be. Director probably took notice how Sylvester Stallone in Cliffhanger climbed in the side of the mountain by way of CGI. But I give a lot of credit to Lee Partridge for doing all the great rigorous exercises. My goodness, Lee did so much running, partially climbing on mountainsides, sheer cliffs, running through rocky areas, deep snow, darting through woods, wooded areas with who knows what on the ground, dragging through dry riverbeds, and the practice of different fight scenes. All that had to take a toll, man. Lee Partridge was the main character and he was in the film three quarters of the movie. Where in the fuck is his name on the poster? The film was supposed to be a true story. It was about Norno, a soldier who was given a mission to travel across mountains and deserts of Armenia to get a message to Mickey Rourke so he could travel a far distance and save several military battalions. Usually after viewing the film, and I think it's a waste of time, I do not show pictures of the actors or the director. Out of the alphabetic score, I give this film a D- minus for insulting the audiences and my intelligence.